Now it's time for this week's hometown hero. She's a New Jersey housewife whose dream to turn a crack house into a haven is really becoming a reality. The great thing about these hometown heroes, we see everyday people who go out into communities right. and give and give and give and really change the lives of many, many people. And uh, this week's is Mamie Puccio, and she's reaching out to hundreds of drug addicts and helping them turn their lives around. Yeah, news, news to, I'm sorry. Go ahead. News to reporter Marcella <laughs> Palmer has her heartwarming story. The churches around in the area are just... Carroll Street, Patterson, New Jersey. It can be a tough place to live, but almost three years ago, a glimmer of hope moved in, Mame Puccio. We're not out to save the world. That's already been done by somebody. We're out to maintain it. A woman with a big vision and even bigger heart left the comfort of the suburbs to make a difference here, getting kids off the street, giving young men direction, and giving abandoned animals a place to heal. Look, I was looking for um, a place to to begin a retreat house for people where they could have sacred space, quiet time, and just a little opportunity to regroup. She found that place in this three-story house. It was a run-down crack den. We were there in April of 98 when Mame, with neighborhood volunteers and donations, cleaned up and turned it into Trinity Retreats. Today, the house still needs work, but her mission is in full swing. When she came, I, I was surprised. I was like, wow, that's a big step. It really is a big task, and, and no one around here has met the task. you got churches here, you have churches here. Now known as Miss Mame, she's making a difference. Mame started the 15-member Trinity Retreats baseball team. When we had nothing to do on a certain day, that was boring, and we just had to sit on the porch. Miss Mame came up with a uh, baseball team. In turn, the team gave umpire Henry Jones an outlet for exploring untapped talent. At one point in my life as a kid, I, I loved the sports and I loved it, doing good things. So I see, you know, I didn't make it to where I wanted to make it. So I see the kids, I see them every day. So I feel like maybe if I go out and help them, things, I might make a difference. Then there are the animals, like this abandoned kitten. He's just trying so hard, you know, and I'm just not going to leave him. The perfect example of compassion for these kids. If she see a dog walking down the, um, down the street and she knows it needs a place to stay, she'll take it in her home, feed it. I keep telling the kids there's so much out there. Just go out and take it. It's yours. With today's hometown hero, Mame Puccio, I'm Marcella Palmer, News 2. Major funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by the Medical Society of New Jersey, keeping New Jerseyans healthy for more than 200 years. Is your physician an MSNJ member? Johnson & Johnson, the worldwide healthcare products company. And by Independence Community Bank, now serving New Jersey's community banking needs. Additional funding has been provided by Verizon Communications. Can you help in this direction? This is your certainly help. Are you afraid? Of course I'm afraid. I'm afraid every time I step outside. Welcome to another edition of Caucus Up Close, where we talk with some of New Jersey's most interesting and compelling personalities. I'm Steve Adubato. On this program, we'll meet two women who are working to improve the lives of inner city children and others in need of guidance and inspiration. Now, later in the program, we'll talk with Fran Gray, CEO and co-founder of the Althea Gibson Foundation. But first, meet Mame Puccio, whose newly established Trinity Retreats has earned her the nickname the Mother Teresa of Patterson. Good to see you, Mame. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for inviting me. Well, first, where does the Mother Teresa of Patterson nickname come from? Well, I think Mother Teresa is probably laughing <laughs> in heaven over the comparison because um, just to be even mentioned in the same breath as Mother Teresa is, is a gift. But um, <laughs> thank you. Well, what is Trinity Retreats? For those who don't know, which is most of our audience, you're trying to explain to someone what it is and uh -huh. how you got into it. How would you do that? Uh -huh. Basically, um, I felt that people needed quiet space sacred time and uh, beauty to just complete their lives and to balance out some of the, um, the situations that they have to go through in their lives. And so I started on a journey, Steve, to find a house to do this in. And I didn't have any money. It was a complete faith walk. And uh, a young real estate agent said, you want to see a house as a joke? So she took me way back to the back alleys of Patterson. And we wound up at this big, huge 10-room house. And I said, oh my goodness. 
God certainly has a sense of humor he couldn't mean here because the drug dealers were less than 50 feet away, the, the, the noise. And I knew right from the minute I saw it that that was the place that... Uh, well, let's be clear here, Mame. You were looking at a house on Carroll Street in Patterson. Well, it, actually, I had been looking in other parts of town, the more uh, built-up places. Okay, but, but Carroll Street is a place that was the center of drug trafficking in the city. This was a crack house that you found, okay, that was pretty active. Drug deals were going on. And we're talking about you from Tenafly, New Jersey, a suburban area. You have no experience in, urban area, in the urban areas. Mm -hmm. You decide you're going to go into Patterson, into the heart of Patterson, the worst part of the city, and create this retreat for whom? For people who needed quiet time, sacred space, and beauty in their lives. Let's be more specific, though. Uh -huh. These are not people, these are people who are struggling. Yes, and also, too, Steve, their uh, trauma is such a strong experience in the ghetto, in urban areas. Um, Every minute holds trauma. You can't let your guard down for five seconds without something happening. Uh, the fire trucks are there. The, the police are there. Uh, gunshots are heard. Uh, I often wake up and hear gunshots on Carroll Street in the morning. And people are not able to process this. There, it, it's just sometimes I look at the children and there's a strange, strained um, expression on their faces. And I'm recognizing, after being a part of this experience for three years now, just about three years, um, that, that they need exactly what I'm trying to offer. What is that specifically? I mean, you talk about providing them an opportunity to get in touch with mm -hmm. their inner mm -hmm. selves, their spirit, if you will. But what exactly goes on in a, in a typical day? or on a typical day at Trinity mm -hmm. Retreats? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Steve, I like to say that the Holy Spirit writes the script for me when I wake up in the morning because um, when I go through the door, I never know what's going to meet me. Um, there are many women in the area. Uh, they're good women, but they've been taken down by their heroin addiction. Consequently, they prostitute all day long to support the heroin addiction. And um, I'm able to suggest an alternative. When you're ready to go to detox, I'll take you. I'll take you down to someone who can do an intake and get you in. You personally do? Um, yeah. And also for the men, um, a lot of times too, sometimes they're just, there's plenty of places, there's opportunities for them to eat, to get clothing. The different churches are doing a wonderful job in Patterson in providing assistance to the poor and the homeless. But sometimes their morale, their spirit, they just need someone to listen to them. They just need someone to be a presence in their life. Um, and they trip over me on Carroll Street and sometimes they're not quite sure what I'm about until I just say, Tell me your struggle, what's happening today. You know, how can I, is there some way that I can plug in and offer assistance or facilitate a change in your life today? And maybe it's just a cup of coffee, maybe it's a sandwich. You know? You're alone there? Yeah. Well, I have a couple little animals that... No, a staff. Are, you yeah, have a professional no, staff? No, I'm praying it's for you. staff. Yeah, yeah. You're praying for staff? Yeah, I need staff. Big Where part. does the money come yeah. from? It's a faith walk again, you know. Uh, uh, donations, uh, occasionally friends of mine will do fundraisers. So that helps a couple of thousand here, you know, to be able to um, continue on. Yeah. You know, and by the way, we're going to put up the number for Trinity Retreats uh, as we speak for those of you who would like to find out more and also if you'd like to give. And I'm curious about this. When, when our producers came to me and said, you know, this is Maine Puccio, she's, she's exceptional. In fact, the record did a yeah. feature story on you. And um, I became curious about the idea of, of a woman, a white woman, in suburban northern New Jersey, going into Patterson, whose quote-unquote clientele is largely black and Latino. Mm -hmm. Am I making too much of that? Were others curious about that oh. idea or suspicious of it? Oh, yeah, very much so. Because I'm not fact, suspicious, I'm just curious. No, 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 I understand, Steve, and I really actually have more people who are um, suspicious and confused and upset, actually angry. Sometimes people come at me with a duality in their face. <laughs> part of them is saying this is wonderful what you're doing and the other part is saying uh, I don't understand it, it's threatening. Um, the, the church, my own people have basically disowned me with the exception of Father Couture. Who Father Couture is part personal of... Personal friend. Um, he had been with the Christophers for many years um, but again he supports me outside of the institutional church. But what do you mean? Why would the Catholic Church have a problem with you doing, some might argue, the work of God? what Christ did, reach out to others, be there for them, the quote-unquote, I'll use someone else's, the dregs of society, meaning those who are ignored, mm -hmm. those who...